Hi, Lou Manfredini, ACES Home Expert. We're gonna show you three uses for a cordless drill. So this is a cordless drill, or it's also sometimes referred to as a cordless screw gun. It's got a bunch of different features and depends on the make that you have, but on this particular Craftsman, here's the trigger and it's a variable speed. So depending on how I squeeze this, you can change the speed of the drill. This button here is forward and reverse. So this way, it would be used for drilling and then this way if you were backing it out. Now right here, this is a clutch and this is used for when you're using it as a screw gun and or drilling. So for instance, I'll show you later when you adjust this, but if you're going to actually use a drill bit on there, you're going to go all the way to that what looks like a drill bit so that you get the most force out of the tool. Up top here, there's two different speeds. If you're going to use this as a screw gun, you want it on one, which gives you more torque, more strength. If you're going to use it as a drill, you're going to bring it to the two, which gives you more speed. All right, so for drilling, this is called the chuck, and it's what's called a keyless chuck because you tighten or loosen it just by hand. And I'm going to go ahead and take that drill bit and place it inside, and then you grab this and you're going to turn that until it clicks. Now the drill bit is in there. We've got it on the higher speed and we have it set to the drill and now I'm going to just in the forward position put it on this block of wood, pull the trigger and go. That's your first use. Okay, using the drill as a screw gun, I've got a screw bit here and there's all kinds of attachments that you can use on the end of a cordless drill. That same keyless chuck, you're going to open that up a little bit more than the drill bit was and go ahead and tighten it in. This is a little sleeve that holds different bits on the end of it. Now remember I talked about the speed, so now we want more torque, not more speed. So we're going to go to number one. And then this chuck, this, uh, excuse me, this uh, clutch here, you can adjust depending on how deep you want the screw to go. I'm going to give you an example here. We're just going to set it on seven and see where we go. Now we're going to take that screw right into the wood here. And when I get to burying the screw, you're going to hear the clutch sort of rattle that's going to actually stop the bit from turning. That way, if you're going to do a series of screws, you can adjust how deep the screw goes by adjusting that clutch on the top. Finally, one of the three uses, and there are more than three, but these are just three of the most obvious. You can see that there's grinding wheels and finishing wheels or even a sanding wheel that you can place on the end of the drill. So this is an area too where depending on what you're using it on, you can either go with low speed torque or high speed and then on this particular wheel, you'll see the sandpaper is on this side. So you're going to want to make sure that it's running clockwise. And you go ahead and take that on its side and then use the drill for this purpose. Next up, three ways to use a reciprocating saw. 